Yes, this is a dual screen laptop and this is the brand new Asus ZenBook Duo 2024. Now I wanna give a big shout out to Asus for sponsoring this video and also sending over the ZenBook Duo so that I could actually travel with this and experience it differently uh, than most times that I'll actually do videos like this. So the ZenBook Duo 14 came in right before Christmas so I got to quickly unpack it and I took a road trip, I went to go see family, in Massachusetts and then I took a trip to the UK. So for me, this whole experience is about, is about traveling with a dual screen laptop and what it actually brings to the table. The first thing you wanna look at here is the hardware with the ZenBook Duo, which is absolutely lovely. It looks like a traditional laptop when you put it down and open it up, but of course you can lift up that keyboard cover and that reveals the second display and one of the things i do like about the keyboard it's really light it's flexible and you can move it around connects via bluetooth once you pull it off uh, the laptop itself while connected to the laptop it's connected via pogo pin so of course you've got no loss there and you can charge that keyboard as well with a usb type c port on the side so again that flexibility is there revealing the dual 14 inch 3K OLED displays. They're absolutely lovely. The, the displays look really good and really vibrant uh, just next to each other. So you've got the same visual fidelity on both screens. Now the hardware itself, you might think, okay, look, you've got two displays, you've got this extra keyboard, it's gonna be heavy. Well, it isn't because this is built with a uh, recycled magnesium alloy here and that makes it a really light laptop altogether. It weighs about 1.35 uh, kg or about three pounds, 2.98 pounds. That's without the keyboard. With the keyboard, it's a little bit more, but you can see how flexible this is. The other thing I do like about the keyboard is the fact that it closes flush with uh, the laptop, so it feels like it actually is built together with it when you open and close this up, which is pretty nice. Now, underneath the hood, this is where you have a lot of performance packed with this laptop to make you use it to its best of the abilities. Now, you've got an Intel Core Ultra chip in there. You can either get a Core Ultra 7 or a Core Ultra 9. Uh, I have a Core Ultra 7 on this here. You can also get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM DDR5, as well as up to two terabytes of storage. So there's a lot of flexibility for work case and use. Now, connectivity is also huge on this with two Thunderbolt uh, 4 ports, as well as also a full USB 3.2 port, full HDMI out, and a headphone jack. So you've got the kind of connectivity you need to work with this laptop. So what are the use case scenarios, especially for someone like me who just started traveling with this? Now, what I liked about the laptop is that, first of all, uh, you can use it in any scenario you want to. So whether it's just using it as a traditional laptop with that keyboard there, uh, that is pretty nice and simple. Or if, for instance, while I was traveling, I went to the lounge, I was able to just sit down, open it up and use it with the dual display. Now, this is where the extra uh, uniqueness of the ZenBook Duo uh, comes in. It's got a built-in kickstand at the bottom here. So you can put it into the dual screen mode. And it's a very simple process by just picking up that kickstand and then you can detach the keyboard. You can have the keyboard on your lap if you want to. You can start typing, using it all the way. Very nice and very simple. Allow you to have, say, a video at the bottom and then of course do some work on the top, whichever way you want to. Or you can put it into desktop mode where you actually flip it around and you can have it side by side here. And this is pretty nice. You don't need the kickstand for this. You can close it up but it works pretty well having that dual desktop mode. So you can have, say, a, um, an app that scrolls up and down like TikTok or IG, and then you can open up and say, read uh, content to the other side. But whatever way you want to use this laptop, you can. You can also lay it flat at 180 degrees in sharing mode to give you that flexibility there. Now you're asking, what if I don't want to carry my keyboard, right? right? Um, what can I do with it? Does it have an on-screen keyboard? It does. Very simple gestures using six fingers, three on each hand, swiping up from the button, bottom. That actually gives you access to your keyboard. And if you, you swipe again, you've given access to a full keyboard with a trackpad, or 
you have a keyboard with different functionalities here. So you can have, say, your num keys as well, a calculator, you can have volume controls. You can set it up whichever way you want to use the keyboard to make it effective. The Zenbook Duo also comes with the Asus Pen 2.0, which gives you more flexibility as well. Again, since you have two screens, you can type on one, write on the other, do as much as you want, whichever way you want, in any flexible manner. Now, you're wondering, okay, Thunder E, we do you like to game, and this has an Intel Core Ultra in there, which means it's got an integrated um, ARC chip here the Arc GPU, and of course, I had to do some gaming on the road because that's what I always do, guys. And I brought my trusty uh, 8-Beto microcontroller, very small controller, I was able to connect it directly via Bluetooth 5.2 uh, on this device, also connectivity with Wi-Fi uh, 6E, and played some Street Fighter 6 on here, and it handled it beautifully. Now, I didn't have the laptop connected sometimes, as I was getting roughly around 50 to 53 frames per second not connected uh, to any power source, which is great for a game like Street Fighter playing at 1080p, and then also connected getting 60 frames per second. So it's very fluid for those kind of sessions. So you could have that gaming session on, uh, game the way you want to, and enjoy that with something like this. Now, I think a lot of people will look at the Zenbook Duo and go, this is something that might fit my, my lifestyle, especially if, I have to do a lot of work. I want that dual screen setup, but I don't want to carry a second screen with me, and I want to have the flexibility of just moving in different workflows. I think this does it well for a lot of people. But I think the biggest thing here that I really like is the detachable keyboard. The fact that it's a backlit keyboard, it's flexible, it works out well, and you pair that with the dual OLED displays, this is a stunning laptop. Now, let me know what you guys think about the Zenbook Duo uh, 2024. Is this something that you would pick up? Is this something that you like? Leave your thoughts down below, guys. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.